I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a math problem for the DAP. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, a professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Orgo Man products and the author of the DAP Destroyer book. I want to go over a nice question with you on math. A lot of students say to me they're rusty on math, they haven't done algebra in years, and they're really intimidated on the DAP exam. The first thing we want to do is to look at a good question on algebraic manipulation. So come around and let's see what I have. I say to you that force is equal to g m1 m2 divided by r squared and equal to, also equal to m v squared r. You might recognize this from physics. If you took physics, I am setting the gravitational force equal to the centripetal force. And what I want to do here is to show how t, which is time, relates to mass if 2 pi r over t is v. Where would I start something like this? The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set these two equations equal. g m1 m2 over r squared equals m1 v squared r. I'm going to cross out the masses on both sides. That gives me g m2 r squared equals v squared over r. Well, since both of these have r in it, I'm going to knock out the r on this side and knock out one of the r's to give me g m2 r equals v squared. Now, I'm going to substitute v for 2 pi r and square it. So it's going to be g m2 r equals 2 pi r over the t, which is the time, squared. That gives me 4 pi squared, r squared, t squared. I then cross multiply and I get g m2 t squared is 4 pi squared and r times r squared is r cubed. Divide both sides by g m2, so I get t squared is 4 pi squared, r cubed over g m2 and then square root it and you get the t equals the square root of 4 pi squared r cubed divided by gm. I hope this helps and gives you a nice idea how to do a simple algebraic manipulation. All right, good day to you.